Welcome back, everyone, to another episode here, taking a look at some of the blueprints that I found on the Steam Workshop page for Planet Zoo. Our first piece was made by Dr. Riser. It's called Nightlight Zoo. I also found it under Cave and Stone Zoo. This park has got 29 habitats in it, the exhibits, over 130 animals, all your guests and staff facilities. We also have two monorail rides and a boat ride. Absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous build. Thank you so much for sharing your hard work with us. Our next park was made by the Lord of Potatoes. It's called Clover Rehabilitation Center. In this park, we have four habitats, a little over 10 animals, all of your staff and guest facilities. What a gorgeous little park this is. Thank you so much for sharing all of your hard work with us. Our next park is called Polar Train Zoo. It was made by Haunting Beige. This park has got nine habitats in it, almost 90 animals all your staff facilities and we have a train ride that will take us around to look at all of the habitats If you guys have all enjoyed this week's episode, please be sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot with YouTube. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. What a really a clever little idea. Taking all of the people around in their train in a train ride to see all of the habitats. Thank you so much for sharing this winter wonderland with us. Our next piece was made by Zanara. It's called Modernus Kata.
What a really beautiful piece this is. A very really nice habitat. Thank you so much for bringing this to STEAM community and sharing it with us. Our next piece is called Monkey Canyon. It was made by a skull taker. Bring this into your zoo for right around $116,000. Absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing this to STEAM community. There's a lot of hard work here. Our next piece was made by Talea. It's called Arctic Ice Lights. Bring these into your zoo for just a little under $2,000. This would be really, really beautiful in an Arctic setting. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Next, we have a croc swamp made by Luna Toil. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $5,000. Crocodiles would be so happy in this habitat. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Our next piece was made by Majora. It's called Formusen Black Bear Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $12,000. I think all your bears would be really happy here. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Next, we have a village Indian American made by Tisto. You bring this into your zoo for right around $3,000. Perfect little setting for a zoo. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. We have two pieces made here by Lara Bell. This first one is Grizzly Mine Habitat. Bring this into your zoo for right around Lara Bell has also created Otter Habitat. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $32,000. You have made two really great habitats here. Thank you so much for sharing all of your work with us. You have a really good eye for building. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Next, we have a grizzly bear habitat made by Hannah. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $45,000. What a really epic build this is. Your grizzly bears would have so much room to roam around in here. Feel just like they're in a natural little habitat. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Our next piece is called Swalk Up Moon. Alta Post. It was made by J. Bransma. It's a replica of the old post and telegraph office in Swamp Mun, Nambia. 
You can bring this into your zoo for right around $80,000. What a gorgeous building this is. And you've done such a great job in recreating it. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Our next piece was made by Ray. It's called a small ranger station. Bring this into your zoo for right around $17,000. Perfect little ranger station. Great way to hide a lot of your staff facilities. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Hartzell Ridge has been busy making a train station number one. Bring this into your zoo for right around $9,000. Gorgeous. Really, really beautiful build here. Done a great job. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Next, we have the Dead Yoshi Kama Shrine. It was made by the Dead Yoshi. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $27,000. A really, really nice uh, build here. A nice little walkthrough habitat. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Everett's been busy building the old animal graveyard. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $3,000. Great little scenery piece. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community and sharing it with us. Our next piece is called Yellow Lotus Red Panda Sanctuary. It was made by Gramper. Bring this into your zoo for right around $15,000. A really, really beautiful habitat this is. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Our next piece is called Kiki. It's made by 253689. Uh, this is a habitat with four lions in it. Beautiful habitat this is. Thank you so much for bringing this to the STEAM community. Our next piece was made by Arcan. It's called American Bison Habitat. You can find this build on the Old Country Channel on YouTube. In this park, we have one habitat and ride rent and animals. What a really great little park this is. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us. Our last piece this week was made by Man Bourbon. It's called Zoo Imperial 1.6. This park has over 60 habitats in it, lots of exhibits, and over 370 animals in it. We also have all of your guest and staff facilities.
What an absolutely massive park this is. There is so much work here. Thank you so much for sharing all of it with us on the STEAM community. We really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone for joining me in this week's episode. I hope that you enjoyed looking at all of these blueprints as much as I do. You all take it easy and I will see you back next week. <laughs>